Thank you guys for coming and joining us today. And for these great mugs that fans sent us, love these mugs. I, I feel like we're like uh, Kelly Rippon, uh, well, Michael, even though he went to a different show. I don't but anyway, watch any of that stuff. No, I just, you yeah, know, follow on know uh, I knew Us Kelly magazine Rippen. or something. So anyway, here we are. Let's thank talk you guys about for joining us. We're so excited about this. We're so excited about this day. <laughs> It's every bride's dream to have your wedding last two whole days, even though we got mixed up because we were supposed to be on the 14th, but I think we were preempted, so it ended up being the 15th, 16th. Mm. So thank you guys for but, hanging with us and following the dates. But this is, nevertheless, this is Days of Our Lives Valentine's That's right. Day show. That's right. Even though it's not exactly on the day. It's very close. Right. It's the whole week. Right. We're celebrating the whole but week. But we're so excited. We, um, this is really, uh, it took us a long time to get to this point. To, to wed again, even though, I maybe because I live in the moment, to me it feels like the first time. It does. I mean, there was our whole boat and all the ones in between, you know, when I was super seriously pregnant. And, uh, the other one. There was only one other, but I don't really remember anything about that. I just know this one was great. Oh and this God. one was special. It was the best. Mm -hmm. It was the best of all of mm -hmm. the weddings we've had. Mm -hmm. It was so intimate and so heartfelt. Mm -hmm. and, and we were surrounded by some really great family members that came from far and wide and it was just such a loving day wasn't it, it, was it we were it was like it's like we all stood in a circle there were no um you guys will see unless you've already seen if you're on the east coast but nobody sat down it wasn't a wedding where everybody was you know in chairs it, we were all a circle of love and no it just seems so vows. appropriate yeah yeah it was, they it wrote was... a lot they wrote some vows for us but they gave us a little license to um, do what we wanted to do, and Stephen and I both felt that we actually really had a lot to say. That we, we had a lot more to say because we, we love we, these characters and we, we are committed. We felt that it was important. It was it was important to say to get everything in that mm -hmm. we wanted to say. To mm -hmm. We gave it a lot of thought, especially so. after all, the, especially for poor Pat. Poor you. Had to struggle so my favorite, hard and my so favorite long. was in the church when you said um, when you're going to ask me to marry you again with that darn bullet ring. Mm. And he says, um, please, please, no, not another maybe or something like that. Yeah. It's like, no, no, yeah. this was good. So, no, I think he worked hard. I think he really worked hard. And uh, I was resistant for a long time because I think I had my life in order. And um, he, he brought a lot of uh, upheaval. But I realized I just really couldn't live without him. So I think she finally <laughs> decided to say yes. Right? Oh man, that was the best day of my life. The best day. Besides the day we actually did say it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, frankly, that was the best day since I've been back on the show this time. Our wedding yes. day? Yeah, it was the yeah. best day for me all around. Me too. It was very loving. I so, and we were and we were really hyped up. We were so excited and um, it not that it felt even real, the really. Crew, but, even yeah. the crew, you could feel them on the set with us. Everybody was there sort of right. pulling for us right. and supporting us. Everyone was, was happy for us. Right. It was so great. I mean, what couple on television comes back 30 years later and marries each other, the same people, 30 years <laughs> 30 later? Years I say later, this all the time right. because Stephen's been married to his wife for 32 years. I've been married to my husband for 31. Right. And in Hollywood, both. that's a huge record. And then to marry the same guy again on TV 30 years. I mean, I don't, that probably needs to go in like a Guinness Book of Record or something. I bet that's really unusual. We should look that up. Don't okay. you think? Let's look that up. Let's look that up. Anyway, there are people who divorce and get married years later again. I've, I've heard of that. In real life? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. of course, yeah. Or you get divorced and you and you go back and you find your high school sweetheart yeah. and you marry that guy back oh, 30, yeah, 40 years yeah. later. I hear I've that seen story that a lot. Too. Yeah. I think I'd rather hang on to my guy. I'm hang on to <laughs> yeah, hang on to, too. and we'll hang on to each other. So there, it's a, yeah. it's a win. So you know Things what? Things are good. Life yeah. is good. I think we're lucky, don't you think yeah, we're lucky? We're Every lucky. day, I think I'm lucky. And when I walk into this studio here today, we're in our, our uh, kids' loft, which they cleaned it up for us, which was really nice yeah. for teenagers. <laughs> Although I did move a few of their pillows, they, they were all so busy. Up. I like a little less busy, but um, yeah. it's a very colorful little it's very place. Colorful. And how do they afford this? This is what I, I think we're paying for. I think it's my doctor's salary. Yeah, um, that's what I spend all my money yeah, on, yeah. your money. <laughs> hey, well, you know, it goes in the pot. It's all mm. just one pot. That's right. But um, we have questions or something? We have questions, and but there was something else I was actually going to I don't remember what it was. Oh, I, anyway, I'm sorry. What was it? I don't what remember now. It was something about this place, but... I just want to Oh, say I know what I was going to say. Yeah. Every day I walk into the studio, I think, thank you, thank you. It is such a great place. It's a great job, and I'm so lucky to work with you. Oh. And everybody here, we're just like, we're like family, one. and we love each other, and... Um, the memorizing is rough, and some days go better than others. Like today, we have to do stuff later, and I'm 
what? But um, we have scenes coming up. Yeah. We have to but work. we want to take a break and talk to you guys because this is a big day and an important day for us. So anyway, you guys send in questions and. Um, I just want to say one thing. Yes. This is just the most beautiful. Shmata. Pink oh. you. Shmata. <laughs> Thank you. Bill, Bill Ludell over at you know, the other place. At General Hospital. Say, yeah, yeah. Shmata. I love the shmata. Yeah. But, it's, but, but I wanted you, to. I want to dress up for you today because we're celebrating our way. Am I? I'm, I'm uh, the Nehru up. collar like the for me color? is it. Yeah. You got but um, you? these questions that were given to us at the very bottom is a thing about it's like a little game we're going to play at the end. How well do you know each other? Well, but we we covered it up because we want to be surprised. Yeah. We didn't look at it because we want to be surprised at what so those let's possibilities just are. One. And I mean, I, I had to put my glasses on. Just Anne a minute. wants to know. So glad to see you both. Well, you're not supposed to get out of order. Go from the oh, top, or we won't remember top? where we were. Go for it, then, baby. Oh, me, me first. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer, are you inspired by any real life personalities when you when portraying Patch and Kayla, or is it entirely their own making of adding traits, temperaments, behaviors, etc.? And how does that process mm. even work, or how do you prepare from the groundwork up? Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so much information. That's an involved. You want me to break it down? Question. No. Okay. Break it down. I I, I could say one thing about. When I started playing this character, I remembered a couple of guys. There was one guy back in high school who was the baddest dude. His name was Manuel Pullum. Hmm. And he, he, he was just trouble. And he ended up, his life did not end well. But uh, <laughs> seriously, Yikes. his kind of vibe, you know, this kind of tough guy dude who, yeah. and, and really, he was, on the inside, he was a very sensitive guy. Right. Well, that's usually, that's, kind of, actually, that's the question. I thought of him. That's yeah, no, I, I thought of him when right. I was, when I was uh, getting going with this, mm -hmm. with this character. And, mm -hmm. and building this. You know, uh, I love, and not to plug everybody on the planet here today, but I think I mentioned this last time I did Facebook Live, but there is an Instagram, Patch and Kayla, and I follow this, and every day I get to see all these old clips of us. I love this because I, I we don't remember because it's all so fast, we do everything so fast, and and, but the thing that always strikes me is this incredible bravado thing that you had back then. And, but then you, but you were sensitive underneath and it was such a cover, which is what you're talking about, your friend yeah. or your acquaintance. But um, that's why I always love the Patch character over some of the other shows that you've done because that's just so unique and unique in a man mm -hmm. and that she sees that about him, you know, that he lets his guard down to show her that, right. you know, it's really great. Yeah. And I don't, I, I think that, that these characters have evolved. That's what I think. I mean, I think that we've been lucky that Days of Our Lives has written us evolving and aging and becoming right. the people especially that we this, are now. this time back, especially. Yeah. yeah. We really paid attention to that. Right. Who would these people be now? Yeah, all, which is so that nice. They've been through and at, the, yes. at this age. Right. Yeah. It's been and I, I was sitting here thinking, what would I have to emulate or who or whatever? I have to say the only thing that I can think about the top of my head is that my husband is really a doctor, and I hear him talking on the phone a lot, prescribing things or talking to patients, and so I, that I, I bring over of just this sort of calm, uh, unflappable thing. Mm. So I try to bring that. And then the producer will say to me, "Oh, but this is you know your niece or something, and you love them, and you know." So I have to add that in, but I always start from a place of being so professional. But I get that from my husband. Okay, you're up. Second, uh, second question. I'm ready. Neely. Oh, I guess for both of us. Right? Wants to know. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see the way. Can you mm -hmm. promise you will stay together this time? You have always been my favorite couple. Well, thank you, Neely. <laughs> but first off, can anyone I promise think... it's going to be forever? Oh, don't say we'll that. Keep, I'm saying we'll, we'll keep working on it. We'll keep trying. I but think... I mean, I don't know if I can promise because yeah, because promise how can anyone heavy. promise if they're going to well, be in a relationship look, forever? Look, I'll say this. We promised. We want to. We promised one another that we're going to stay together forever. I think. This has got to be it, okay? Come on, There's, there can't be it. We cannot break up again for good. There might be bumps in the road, right? There always are. One thing's for sure, though, we always seem up. to come back to each other, so. But I will tell you this, we are five months down the road and we're still together and we're still super happy. Yeah. That's why I wear this yeah. dress for him today. Yeah, okay. Okay, my, my question, <laughs> just a minute, now I gotta be up with my goggles on. From Bonnie, I have watched days forever. Tell me how much you both enjoy dancing to Lady in Red. Oh. I have never forgotten you dancing to that song, and every time I hear it, I think of you too. Mm -hmm. Sweet. You can tell. Thank you for sharing your talent that. together to this fan. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bonnie. Well, if you go back and watch that scene, this is the only thing I remember yeah, about that is, scene. This is good. You love this. Is when he lifts me up. It's all so romantic, and he lifts me up and he puts me on the 
the pool edge, table. The edge of the pool table. It was the total circle thing where the ball goes the in, ball and he's like totally pocket. like goose me in the tush, where it was like, and if you look at that video, I go like this, like it's all romantic, <laughs> and we're looking all around, and I go. <laughs> like that. It's so funny. Do you remember it? Yeah, and they didn't it's cut hilarious. it out either. No, they didn't the cut it out. Smirk. It was great. But you know what? I did auction that dress off. Um, for a charity, and it got a lot of money. It was it was a good uh, it was a good piece. And every time I hear that song, not that I hear it that often anymore, but whenever I do, I, the very first thing I think of is you in that dress. <laughs> you think, I'm glad. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. I know, I do too. I think of it too. I do. Okay. I have to say, I've never heard that song anywhere else around. I mean, you know, I never heard it before that. And whenever I hear it, I do think of that. Okay, Laura. Okay. Laura wants to know. Laura says, hello guys, I've been watching you forever too. Do you ever just walk into a scene and smile from the comfort you bring to each other? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, every That's single day. That's the saving day. grace, actually. Yes. That is. That is the one thing we are so, so grateful mm -hmm. for, is that we just love each other so much. Right. You know, you just, there's so much going on here and, uh, you know, it, it's such it's a, a challenging. It's a fast moving train. It's a challenging place to, to work uh, in a lot of ways. But to have a partner who just puts you at ease immediately is just, the, it, it's the best. Right. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. We, I was just thinking about something he said earlier. We, we even talk about something. He can get me laughing like nobody's business. What I won't go into what you were saying. What I know what I it was, but I'm not going to tell you because you'll be, I, you'll be embarrassed. No, you'll remember. be embarrassed. You'll no, be embarrassed. But, um, okay. but, um, but, but, but I do think this. The whole day is spent, I mean, the day before, the night and the day is learning these lines oh. and memorizing, memorizing. Couple and then we get here and we're memorizing, we're memorizing all the way up until practically they say action. And so what I think that we do usually right before is we just sort of stop for a second, look at each other and be like, okay, now we just have each other and let's just play in this moment of that. Because that's what we have that's so great. We have this incredible connection. We're great friends. We, and we can just look in each other's eyes and we totally know what the other person's, what they're, what's going on, what they're thinking. And, we're never critical of each other. We don't pick on each other. We don't, we're supportive, right? Am I right? I couldn't survive if you picked on me. And now that we've gotten older, we're be more like you know. <laughs> I I joked in my um, Instagram when they when we had our bed scene and my whole like they shot it like across my arm and I was like oh my whole ham bone was out and oh, and then we were talking about the ham bone and yeah. anyway it's like when you're younger maybe you worry about so many like oh geez did he see me like that and now we're both just like did yeah, you yeah, see we it don't, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> did you see care. that ham bone oh my god like, what's so, a ham bone you mean i that? told you my whole arm and they shot arm. across you know low and across yeah. like it was in that you know 2000 something space odyssey moon thing that moon shot <laughs> it was that, that same lens yeah for sure <laughs> I think they made it. It was like a convex thing. They made that arm look bigger than it really is. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Where are we? Which one are we at? Um, Lauren? Uh, Lorena. Oh, Lorena. Um, um, Stephen and Mary Beth, how would you sum up your wedding this time around? <laughs> and what was the ultimate absolute highlights for you both? How is it like, how, what? How is it like to be? What was it like to be Thank so you. much? <laughs> the how is in the wrong love. place. Like, so much and deeply in love, uh, re remarrying all these years later. Okay. Uh, I think we kind of answered sum that. It up? Like, yeah, we, yeah, it's we like answered sweeter, it. sweeter, better. It was sweet and intimate. It wasn't about the boat or the surroundings or how many people were there or how many flowers or, you know. It was, it wasn't Although about, I had my yellow rose bouquet. It was really about just focusing on each other and <clears throat> the few people who were there. You know, I think on the boat, there's like the entire town of Salem was on that boat that day all those years ago. But this was a much more intimate group. It was really, it was just, it was more focused and more intimate. You know what's I mean, really sweet is if you look at the pictures from the boat, that so many people are here, like, you know, uh, uh, let's just start with Christy Clark, who played Carrie. She was, yeah. a, a you know, 10 or 12 or something back then. Yeah. It's all just very sweet. sweet. But yeah. like I said earlier, we spent time on these vows and, you know, they were heartfelt and I think that we, we, because we love these characters so much and we love each other so much that it all came through in this. It and, came uh, through. It yeah. did. It came through. So. Everybody felt it. Yeah, everybody felt we it. We hope you guys do too. Or did. And then will. Oh, that's. I knew that Somebody's is. here. Uh-oh, yeah. we're, oh, well, we're doing Facebook Live now. Yeah, you Quiet can't out there. Quiet. This is important. Okay. okay. 
Is that? You the next question because Anne? apparently my glasses aren't strong I'm enough. So to glad to see you both back on days and with good stories. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. So happy to see the wedding is on for both of you. What's been the hardest story you've had to work on with? With, with who? Hey. Hardest story you had to work with on days. Oh. Well, I didn't like the um, being uh, set on fire inside a coffin. That was a little hot. I didn't like that. I, the Ava, the whole Ava deal was very difficult for me. It was me. difficult, but I it, think was it was good. I think it was hard for the audience, but yes, but it was I good. thought it was a, yeah. a great story and really well written. I, I, but it was really hard to get to get past the, what, I, what I actually did. It was on that video. But, but you know what was cool about that too, though? And I'm not sure I'm mature enough in my own life, but if I had seen something like that. But what was cool was sort of a couple who've been together for a long time. Like it wasn't like I just slapped you across the face and ran out the door and didn't talk to you and no, be like, you know, not. filed for you know whatever yeah, injunction, yeah. whatever. No. But you know what I mean? Like that part was neat that, that we would never happen. that we're a couple who have been through a lot and there's all these different layers and it's bad and things are bad, but we find a way back. Yeah. And that part was really cool. I, I liked that. Uh, the story was difficult, but I liked the layers that we were able to play That's what during I that always, time. I always say about Patch and Kay was that no matter what happens, that love, that connection, that the thing that they have mm -hmm. could never die. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. Right. You made me cry on our wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the next one? Patri <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> Stephen. Oh. Stephen, what, what do you <laughs> most love about? Oh, what do you most love about Mary Beth? And Mary Beth, what do you most love about Stephen? I guess not his characters, right? Well, I have to say that what I love most about Mary Beth is what you see is what you get. There are no hidden agendas. She's and she's one of the most uh, humble people you'll ever meet. She's uh, her. She's self-deprecating. I love that kind of humor. She she just she always tells the truth. And uh, sometimes to her detriment, in a way, because she she says what's ever on her mind at any moment. But <laughs> I absolutely love that. It's really refreshing. I, the fact is, I don't. I've never met anyone like Mary Beth in my life. I think she's really. She's making me cry. <laughs> I'm getting a little choked up. But I have to I say, I wish you do this every week, just for like a cleansing. <laughs> We should we just get together and talk about how much we like each other. So sweet, isn't it? Gosh darn. This is very therapeutic, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gosh, there's so many things. You know, I, I've said this before, but I think with Stephen, he, um, he he seems, especially on on camera, I think he might seem bolder or like tough or whatever. But he's so marshmallow inside. Is that something you can really say about a guy? But. You're just so sweet. No, he's so sweet and so loving, and especially about kids and his grandkids, and he just loves these kids so much, and every every minute we have a break, he's rushing off to where they live to be with them, and he'll tell his daughter, go to work, I'm here, I got him, you know. And um, no, just that you're this sweet, loving, sensitive person, and always supportive of me, and uh, I have to say, you know, he's great when we run lines, because he kind of keeps me actually saying what's there. <laughs> I guess I'll just get sort of on a thing. But no, but I mean, we're lucky. We're lucky we, that we are supportive of each other and we love each other after all this time. Yeah. 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 Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was Patricia. Sarah, what scene storyline do you think was the other's best performance as Patch and Kayla mm. throughout the years? One each that Ooh. really impressed you or touched you? Well, first of all, every scene that I'm in with Mary Beth, she gives me... 500% and that's another thing I'm grateful for because as an actor you're only as good as what you're given you know and she really is always there for me yeah and I think the, for us, thing, the reaction from each other is, is big yeah uh, what's the other one what well what's the way thing? you dealt with uh, Bo's death I thought oh. was was absolutely beautiful that's sad. and, uh, and I, I mean everybody was involved but your scenes with everyone you were just that's nice. You're there. Thank you. That was a. It was such a complicated thing too, because like that, I love Peter. We've known each other a really long time. He's played my brother for such a long time, even though they always said he was my baby brother. But he's actually older than me. I hope you know. Hope everybody yeah, knows yeah. he's actually. That that was the hardest. Part but um, no, about. that was really uh, for me too difficult, and I love him. But I, you know, I say this, and I, I'll keep going back to it. But I love the Emily Gideon storyline, 
I loved it because it was like we were doing a movie. We got to go on location. We, we also read this diary where we got to experience the love story of two people again and uh, go to South Carolina where he was you know, this uh, Civil War guy. I mean, it was all so cool and great. And yeah, I mean, yeah. I really loved that whole story. Yeah. But on a day-to-day -day thing, I think that we connect better than anybody else I work with, for sure, for sure. And we, so much of what we do is, like I said, we stop everything and pay attention to what's happening in the moment. And um, I think that's what saves us 100%. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when I see a scene, it's the reactions of, of the other person that's not talking that is actually, I think, better Yeah. in yeah. our stuff. Well, it is, I and mean, what you play between the lines is always so important. It's, mm -hmm. it's even more important than the words mm -hmm. most of the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we do. We're, we're actually really good listeners yeah. in our scenes together. I think yeah. that probably has a lot to do with it. We listen to what the other person's saying. Yeah. Especially well, you have to do that because otherwise sometimes your line doesn't match up with how they've changed it. So if you don't listen, you're you're gonna look dumb, you know. When well, you, when you, when you rehearsed, say something dumb, you would have yeah. But sometimes it goes. Sometimes you get off the rails. Speaking by <laughs> being speaking for myself. Okay, which one are we on? Uh, honey. Right oh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Will Patch and Kayla go on a honeymoon? Well, you know, I'm a little busy right now at the hospital, so we don't rush into that. But you know, here's mm -hmm. what the deal is. Mm -hmm. Every day is a honeymoon. Every day is a honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're at that point in our lives where we don't really need necessarily need a honeymoon we could take a vacation anytime and just say oh, this is our honeymoon yeah yeah but I'm a little busy I have and a few things busy to do. but we do have we, that's we jump we right into another story like right, right yeah but that doesn't mean we don't take time out for love because I remember some love right after there's, that yeah there's some love there's yeah, definitely love. some love but we don't go to like the orient or anything we don't we don't even go to the Bahamas <laughs> you don't have the chopsticks we or we don't even go to Lake Michigan or anything that's close head. to where Salem is Salem <laughs> USA okay yes next so Kay uh, Kelly said Kelly Kelly I thought it said Kayla, sorry. Kelly. Where would you like to see Patch and Kayla's relationship go next? Where? Well, I was thinking it might be fun to um, do a little private investigative work with you on the side, like some stakeouts oh. or something, you know? Oh. With like lots of fast food wrappers on the dashboard. And, and we get a lot of the <laughs> Lucy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Side, yeah, to have a little Lucy comedy. Side. Yeah. I like the comedy. Yeah. But when, when, we did that, when we did that um, cleaning closet room, Remember last year? Yeah. And when we read the script, we were thinking, oh, oh brother, what are we going to do with that? And, you know, it's we don't hard. even, we didn't even know until we got in there, and, yeah. which is, you know, well, four by six we, little we worked, space. We worked the hell out of it first, and then we got in there, and it just sort of became spontaneous. Yeah. And we just played. And I just love it, it when we have of, a little comedy. But we don't get comedy very often, but I, Mary Beth I really is like so it. so funny. And you, you already know that, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got to give her some more cavity. You know, a, a fan sent me the most beautiful, and I haven't had a chance to um, say thank you yet, but a beautiful, a, a really signed um, Lucille Ball picture. Yeah, I her saw autograph. That just the other day. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. I need to um, do my formal thank you, but oh, it's so cool. I'm hanging it in my dressing room. Okay, next. All right. Hmm. While you're working on that, thank you, everybody, also for all the cupcakes and the flowers and the chocolate covered strawberries yeah we just sent uh, and the covered chocolate fruit oh my god i'm kind of full actually but it was really great and fun to celebrate Mary again Beth never eats that stuff but it was so good she couldn't resist i had to yeah the i had to try it all and the uh, gourmet candies the, the chocolate covered strawberry fruit candies chocolate -covered i know strawberry. the strawberries are kind of a marlena I'm sure I won't marlena get john any, thing but because we, we put it. the rest of it out for the crew and man they you know they love you for that Thank you. I think that might be why I'm a little hyped up in this interview because I ate all she that sugar. Because I ate she all that sugar. I was thinking, why do I feel sugar. so? And it's because I ate all that sugar That's right before it. I walked up. I wonder what the hell the <laughs> chatterbox. I thought it was like double speed today. No, I think it was I ate all that. I ate all that sugar right Okay, Kelly, up. where would you? Oh, we saw uh -huh. Madeline. Mm -hmm. Wonderful that you two are getting married again. Yes. Are you guys close in real life? I think we've already <laughs> answered that. I think you can tell by this whole deal. Yes, we're super we're, close. We're, so the one thing is, I usually have to kind of sit like really more like this with him. Like I have to how, sit more like this is this how is I like how to talk. To him. To I sit. like to be close. So now that we're nice and close, I'm, we're going to get to this next part, the game. Don't want to do this game. So um, I'm going to put I draw my glasses on so I can see now. This is um, how well do you know each other game. So I guess I will ask you first, and then, okay. or we just ask the question, and then we both answer. Okay. Uh -huh. When is the first time you met? Your screen test. 1980. It was it was the spring of 1986. Spring of 1986. Mm -hmm. You were working as a waitress. It, no, no. I was about <laughs> to. I was about to start a new That's waitress right, job. You start <laughs> and I said to my husband, "Can I just wait until I hear about this Days of Our Lives thing before I pick up the uniform at Beckham's place?" 
or they just tore it down the other day, so I forgot. Yeah, thank God. Versus but um, no, I actually think I met you before the screen test because I think you came up oh, to the producers, oh, Al Raven, in the office. Al Raven's office, and right, um, right. where you were just going to read with me in the office, yeah, and yeah. he was working that day. I hadn't really seen the show, and he came in with the patch, and he had the <laughs> scar back then, and the leather jacket, and in that bravado, you know, I was like, oh boy, oh boy, you know, so. And then yeah. there, was the, there was the screen test after that. Back but. in those days, I walked in in character. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You did. That's what I'm saying. I was a little like, oh, my I God. Was, what am I getting I myself was, into? I was way too serious back then. No, but that's what was cool. Yeah. I but personally. You, 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 you didn't know what oh, to make of it. And when I hear my you voice back not. then, I was way too. Oh, honey, don't. It was so airy. I was so airy. It'll just point okay. it up. You well, know? good. And you were so okay. beautiful. Thank Come you. On. I appreciate that. What what, uh, what are each of your other's middle names in real life or are our characters? Well, characters, when we were going to name uh, Stephanie, our daughter, Stephanie K. Oh, that's, Steph that's her middle name, not mine. What is mine? Oh, I know what my middle name is. Beth. <laughs> that's not Actually, right. it's not Beth because Mary Beth is my first name. It's so, no, but I think the character, do you know what the character's name is? I know the character is because... Yes, you put Caroline. Your, yes, Caroline is my What's name. What's my middle name? It's Earl because you took your real one and put it in your character. My one. grandfather's name. Yeah, you did. That. I asked Al Rabin if he could, right. if I could use that name right. as my middle name. Right, right, right. All right, uh, okay. and what's and so we know in real life so my, and oh, on TV, I don't my have a middle, middle name. name is Earl. I don't have one. It was too many, too many okay. names. Okay, well, patching. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are each other's pet peeves? Pet peeve. Oh, Stevens. Pet peeve. Stevens is smells. He doesn't like, oh, 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 what's that perfume? Or luckily he likes mine, but uh, you, look, I shave for you. Too much. It's so soft, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just, in case, just in case he's that close. I wanted to make, he's so, like, rubbing my leg. I want to make sure it it's is not the best. This leg. Okay, oh my so God. anyway. Um, it's not a ham hawk. No, the, that's the arm. It's a very, <laughs> no, that's the, arm. the legs are okay. I do a lot of cardio bar. It's not the legs, it's Listen. the arm. No, pet peeve. I would say yours is totally. Oh, what's that smell? Cologne smells. and perfume, because yeah. uh, quite frankly, I'm allergic to it. And if somebody has too much so on, like says. in the movie theater, uh -huh. seriously, I get a headache. Yeah. We have to move. I, we call them cologne. I boys. can imagine. When the guys come and sit down and they've got too much, and it's just everywhere. So cologne I, boys, I think that's your, I think that's for sure. That's like if one. somebody brings in a, like a pastrami sandwich in the movie theater. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Like, I wouldn't even Popcorn think twice. I wouldn't even fine, care. Not a sandwich. Yeah, I don't we get, move. I don't get worked The up smells, stuff. they get to me. What do you think my pet peeve is? That's why I always smell good. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, <laughs> you what see, your you pet like peeve coconut. is. Pet you know, you know, you, I have one? Concerning me, you do have a pet peeve. Oh, about you? I didn't know if it was about I'm, you. If I'm in the slightest bit grumpy, yeah, I don't, I don't like you that. go off on me. Yeah. And you cheer, well, the thing is, you cheer me up. Oh, good. You cheer me up right that's away. Good. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's probably true. But in general, I don't have too many pet peeves in my life. But I like, I like people to stay happy around me. Okay. Sure. okay what's, what's the next one, baby? Okay, the next one is... Um, what are each other's favorite food? Uh, you don't know that about me. I do. No, you don't. I do, because you told me what recently. Is? Thai food. That doesn't count. It's, oh, on, the, oh. it's on the list. <laughs> it's on that? the list. It's no, you said twice a week. You eat Thai food twice a week? No, really, the, my all-time favorite is Indian food. If It's <laughs> it's got to be really, really high. Is that like curry? Really good. <laughs> I don't like curry. See, Talk about yeah. smells. I really don't like the smell Mary curry. Beth's favorite food is it's, a good homemade soup. But that's not my number one favorite. Well, what the hell is it then? Chocolate, for sure. What? Chocolate. I love chocolate. I love. Jeez, I do honey, love chocolate. You're so disciplined. I don't see you eat chocolate very yeah, often. Yeah, but I do like soups. Yes, I do. You make them at home. You bring them for lunch. Oh, today's. How a, do you each yeah. take your coffee? Ah ha ha ha! You don't know how I take my coffee. Yes, I do. Uh, espresso, double espresso, with some water or something like that. It's like a lot of espresso exactly with a little right. bit of water. Exactly right. Uh -huh. And what about me? Mary Beth likes her coffee with a little bit of cream. <laughs> I don't drink cream. I don't drink cream. Or milk. No. Just a little sugar? No. Black? Definitely not sugar. Black. Never black. Root. Too hard on my stomach. Then what? What the hell could you put in it if it wasn't cream sugar, and sugar? Sugar. Unsweetened cashew milk. Get the <laughs> I'm serious. Sorry. Cream. Sorry I didn't I know about the cream. cashew milk. I don't do cream. In fact, you know what? You never drink coffee here. Whenever we've gone out, you've never had coffee. Because I had that weird incident here where I got like really sick. But so I don't how, drink would, the how the hell would I know? Am it was. I, am I um, allowed to say H E double golf club? No, no, no. Anyway, how would I know? Anyway, you guys, we've had so much fun. We've had too much fun. In fact, I'd rather do this today. 
Maybe we'll just stay and yeah. talk to you guys the rest of the day. Can we go home now? Anyway, thank you guys for letting us come into your computer today. Yeah, and, and listen, don't miss the show. Yeah. West Coast. West Coming Coast. Coming at 1 p.m. You won't 1 be sorry. Yeah. It's a, it's a great wedding. It's a beautiful wedding. Give me a kiss, baby. Yeah. I love you so Good much. Good times. I love you.